Hey, just a beautiful, beautiful day in British Columbia. Beautiful morning. Uh, I'm down here in the greenhouse grabbing a couple of these, um, I don't know, sort of rainbowishy looking peppers. Uh, I'm going to bring those up to the house. Uh, anyway, it's just gorgeous here today. It's 72 degrees in the greenhouse and I got 50 degrees outside. So <clears throat> that's a real good improvement for me. I mean, uh, yeah, it wasn't doing quite that well. I've sealed it up better because it was pretty leaky. <laughs> and uh, I'm using the exhaust air from my uh, indoor garden room, which I was venting just to the air uh, before. I, I, I've got to vent it, you know, like uh, you guys that have tried hydroponics inside, you know, I like can get pretty smelly. And uh, if you're running light, especially in summer, you know, it gets really hot in there. So I'd been venting this air out just out, out under my back steps for a long time. So I decided what I'd do is I'd shoot it into my garage first to keep me warm in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm using the garage as like a plenum and then from there I'm just sucking it right out through a tube <clears throat> into the greenhouse here and uh, it's just blowing probably about 250 cubic feet a minute I guess of air in here and uh, I've got it exhausted on the other side there so it's been really gosh it's it's been really nice like uh, about 60 overnight which is it's pretty rare uh, for, <laughs> for this greenhouse. I mean, I, you know, I was usually like maybe, you know, a uh, couple of de degrees above or by the time morning would come around, I would be right at whatever it was outside. So anyway, it wasn't it wasn't heating good. Great for building heat in the day. <laughs> anyway, um, I got tons of mail about that darn double uh, double Dutch bucket uh, set up. Uh, a lot of you wanted me to be a little bit more clear as to what I actually did there. I was really quick at uh, running that by. I know I, I, yeah, okay, no problem. So I thought I'd do that today. I, I, I've got a couple of extra buckets and uh, I'll just show you kind of how that whole thing works. And I'll also show you, uh, you can also do it with shorter buckets, but I'll show you the problem with shorter buckets in the summer. Uh, I've still got some roots going on an eggplant here that I want to show you. Uh, they didn't do too well. In fact, I almost lost the whole plant in summer. Uh, because the air cavity in there heated up. Something I didn't consider uh, in the first time. Okay, well look, I'll get set up over there at these buckets and uh, we'll get going on that. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, one of the biggest questions uh, about this uh, double, double Dutch bucket. <laughs> double Dutch, sounds like a hot cocoa. <laughs> And one of the biggest questions about this double but bucket Dutch bu <laughs> Okay. Okay, one of the <laughs> Oh man. Okay, one of the most common questions I got, and I'm not kidding you guys, I got about 35 emails about this. That was blew my mind. One of the most common questions was what does the bottom look like? That's the bottom. And uh, like I said, there's only eight holes in there. They're about eh, three eighths, whatever. Uh, so that you can just pour the perlite in there. It doesn't fall out. Uh, the roots can find their way through there, but you know, they don't seem to too bad. Um, they will eventually at anything, but then <clears throat> from the way the inside's uh, constructed with that 90 coming down with the filter over that, they don't, they don't get through the filter. Um, I'll give you a, a, I'll give you a quick look at what I'm talking about. Actually, here, hold on. I'll show you this other bucket. Okay, here's the inside. Uh, you've all seen that before, or at least you know guys that are familiar with the Dutch bucket uh, setups. And uh, and for you guys that are just starting with the Dutch buckets and know absolutely nothing about them, I apologize for this. Um, but this video was kind of for the guys that were writing me that we're already doing this and, and so I apologize. Um, you know, maybe some of my other videos in the past could help you kind of put it all together and, and get to this point. But at any rate, that's kind of what this is about. So I apologize to you guys. But anyway, that's, you know, the inside of the buckets. So what's happening is you filter that and this guy just slides right in there. Pretty as you please. You leave the handle on it. I leave the handle on it because usually I tie a string onto it so I can string things up, but you know, whatever. But the main idea is this thing slips out. So 
If you have enough buckets, you can have stuff getting started in this. And then when that's done, you just yank it, pull it, put it in, and, and, and you go. The other big question was, what kind of modification did I do to the top? It's not really much of a modification, guys. Uh, I just took a hacksaw and just really roughly hacked hack these down. I haven't cleaned them up yet, but anyway, I, I will. It's not, it's not an issue. You don't even have to. It's, anyway, I do cut that down just to allow more... Uh, of the natural height of the bucket so that the light will will come in like you can see here But anyway, that's the whole deal that that's that's it. It's just nothing more than a bucket dropping in and There you go That's the double dutch thing. I know there's not much to it, but you guys asked <laughs> Now I want to show you also uh, uh, another thing about this double dutch uh, bucket system that uh, you may consider. I found out the hard way. I, I almost lost this eggplant this year, uh, right in this in this one here, because what I didn't consider. Now, see, I'm also running these short buckets in these that come down, you know, like say about halfway. Let me let me show you this. <clears throat> now you want to see some horrible roots. Look at those. Uh, uh, here, I'll get up. Now those are just disgusting, guys. And I'll tell you why. I didn't realize it at the time when I used these shorter buckets. I just thought, no worries, right? No worries. Uh, let me put this back. <laughs> I thought, no worries, you know, it's not, it's not a big deal. Uh, <clears throat> until that real crazy heat wave this summer. That air cavity in there, got so hot that, well, you see the roots. They, they started root rotting and the whole darn deal. So uh, I've never had that problem in the cooler weather with them. And in fact, for some stuff, like if, you, if you're gonna grow like pot choys and, and whatever leafy things in, in Dutch buckets, um, yeah, there's no problem with that. And even some of the peppers, uh, the smaller peppers, there's no problem. But anything bigger, I would go with the full setup here for sure. Tomatoes, big peppers, pukes, all that. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what can happen if you use the shorter buckets because <clears throat> I know that I'd, I'd, I'd recommended them in the past. <laughs> yeah, I know I did. They were, <laughs> they were working great then. It was cooler weather. I didn't anticipate what happens in the heat. Well, you saw the roots. Also, you see the type of roots that are growing too, so that's, that kind of clues you into what's happening in there. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to keep this short. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, I know I get to yakking like crazy. So look, guys, <laughs> if you're not a subscriber, I sure hope you will. To everybody that does subscribe, thank you so much. <laughs> I, always enjoy, I always enjoy you being here with me, and I, I, I sure enjoy your comments. Please keep it up. Don't stomp the mail. I love the mail. Your guys' questions... Uh, actually get me considering a lot of things and and actually they they hone up my skills so <laughs> so anyway listen that's all I got for this time guys uh, I hope this finds you all well and above all things guys above all things be good to each other be good to each other in all things cheers everybody